So I wanted to share this practice called Ho Chi Gong. And uh, Ho Chi Gong means harmony Qi Gong. And I would say this is a very powerful practice. What I mean by that is it requires a lot of intention. It's not so much the physical movement, but it's the mental awareness of the movement. And to begin this practice, um, we have it in many pieces broken up for you to see. But uh, the first thing is to think of yourself as standing in the universe. You're just standing there in the universe, either very big, very small, and just get into a very uh, sensitive, relaxed, aware place in your standing and relax. And what we're going to do is we're going to circulate the chi of the universe and we're going to circulate it in eight directions. Okay? And the way we do that is in an elliptical form. So if you think of elliptical on eight different sides of you, in front of you, behind you, left and right of you, and then also at the 45 in front and the other 45 in the front, 45 in back. Basically an octagon shape. Those are the eight directions around you. So you want to be aware as if you're standing in an octagon, not necessarily thinking of an octagon, but just being aware of the different directions, eight directions around you. And we're going to gather in those directions in an elliptical. And um, when you think about it, as you gather and move through your body and around in all eight directions, it becomes kind of like a donut all around you, like a torsion field going in and out, in and out, all around. So in a sense, we're doing that, we're gathering that energy. So this is, I consider this a very sacred practice. And the more intention and awareness you bring to it, the more powerful. Originally, this was taught without hand movement. And it's very difficult to simply uh, integrate your mental awareness of gathering in the body without the physical movement. So we, uh, Master Howe added the uh, hands. He added the hands usage of gathering so that people can feel the chi moving through with the guidance of your hands. So when you think about an elliptical, if I were to dig, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to my left, if I were to dig into the earth, I would almost be using my hands as if I'm going deep into the earth. And then I'm lifting up, and I'm going out to the horizon, far out to the horizon, okay? And then up straight above into the heavens. So I'm gathering up, and then I pull it down through my head, down through my body, and down to my feet. Okay, so it's very important that we always finish each elliptical going down to the feet. We don't want to go the opposite way. That can cause hypertension, make you dizzy. So we want to always push the chi downward from the head to the feet in this practice, okay? So into, into the earth, deep into the earth, Use your hands, your mind, okay? So just like we move our hands into water, we're moving the field. There's a field beyond our hands. We're actually, we, ex we only think of our body as ending here, but we can extend our awareness and our body into the ground. There's a sense, there's a sense of a feeling of density when you're in the earth. You gather that earth. Then you gather, there's, it gets a little more subtle as it goes up. You're gathering out into the horizon and more and more subtle out into the heavens. So you've gathered that energy like you're holding it and you're pulling it down through your head. Okay, down through your body. Feel it go through your body. Your hands are moving what you gathered through. And that's uh, one gather. And then we do the same thing in eight directions. We'll start on one side, and then we'll start on this side, then we'll gather in front. And then to gather behind, you know, we just kind of move our arms like so. Okay? And that just gives us the feeling of gathering. So it's not particularly important exactly how you do it, but 
it's more important that you're feeling it and sensing it. Then when we gather to the, to the 45s, it's more like so, this 45. And then behind us, just like this, okay? So that's the process of gathering, okay? There's more to the practice too. We're not only gathering, we're gonna gather seven times in each direction. And we're gonna gather in elliptical further and further out. That means that the first elliptical is smaller, okay? And I'm not saying we stretch our arms further out, I'm saying in our mind, the elliptical, mentally we have a smaller elliptical. And then the next one expands further. And then it expands further out, the third one. And then the fourth one expands further out. Five, we're gonna do it seven times. Six, even further, and seven is the furthest away. Now, in this teaching, men and women do it in different directions and on some parts of this practice. And uh, as far as why, this is just how it's taught. Perhaps there are physiological di differences that are more yin and yang innately, but um, it's taught that women start on the right side. They gather from the right side seven times, and men gather from the left side seven times. So when we begin the practice, I'll turn around. So beginning the practice, men will gather seven times in this direction. Larger and larger ellipticals. Women will gather seven times in this direction. Larger and larger ellipticals. So, the first one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Then after we've gathered to one direction, we switch to the other side. So women now gather seven times to this direction, and men gather seven times to this direction. So, the first one, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Then after we've each gathered in seven directions to our left and to our right, then men and women both gather seven times in front. One, Two, pushing down from the head to the feet, into the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we gather behind us, all of us. One, two, three. Into the ground, up behind us, five, six, seven. So now we gathered it in four of the eight directions. And now we're going to gather in the diagonal directions. So to begin with, men will gather in this direction seven times, and women will gather in this direction seven times. One. Expanding further and further out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now women gather seven times in this direction, and men gather seven times in this direction. One, 
expanding further and further out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, expanding further and further out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, expanding further and further out. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven. After you've completed gathering in all eight directions seven times, you remember to always push down to the feet on the last one. So the last gathering, you want to go down to your feet and then you can bring up to the abdomen. Store for a minute. Now we're gonna gather back. So we're gonna do the same thing, but in reverse. And what I mean by reverse is we do the same directions and, and all of the same things exactly, except we're doing it from the largest elliptical out and then closer and then closer in. So each elliptical now goes inward more and more so mentally we're gathering back so in a sense we're pretty expanded as we gather out and now we want to draw ourselves back so we'll begin the same thing left and right one, two, gathering back, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Now we gather in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now behind us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to the left front. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, down to the feet. And then you can go up to the abdomen store. 
So this is done very meditatively, very intently focused on gathering in, into the ground, up and circulating down. Circulating with all of the environment around you in all directions, or in the universe, everything coming through your body. This is called Harmony Qigong, Ho Qigong. <laughs> 